This lesson will be kind of a recap of our Laravel Excel course where I, where I will create a project, uh, see the temporary data, export it into Excel, then we will do some modifications without Excel and we will try to re-import the data to update that. So here I have a really fresh Laravel project, Laravel 5.7. Uh, it's totally fresh, I didn't do anything, and let's try to see the data first. Here I am in my PHP Storm, and we will have default migrations of users, and we will fill the users tables with uh, temporary users. And this is factory that comes with Laravel by default, and we can use it to generate, for example, 50 users. So we go to database seed, we won't create a separate seeder class for that, just for simplicity it will be factory, user, no, not that user, class, I think it should, it should be app user, and so we have 50 users, and we need to create them. And that's it, and let's try to see it, artisan migrate, and see. Okay, migrated successfully, seeding successfully, and let's see what we have in our database. Users, 50, temporary fake users and that's good we will have the table and then we will have to export it into excel and then import back um, next what we will do is do make auth but not because i need to log in and register but we will reuse the template we'll use the login template into our page so we will have resources views uh, customers for example no actually auth login we will save it as uh, use customers blade that's what I usually do just to avoid any non-design pages so it has some design and now we edit the customers to to have customers and all the card body is going to be deleted and here we will have a table. So table, class, table with uh, it has to be t head probably so row for header so first not name actually name and email for every user and then t body will be for each, or actually for else, I like to use that for else, uh, for else users as user, and for else, and then empty. This is the structure to avoid if for each. So for else user, we'll have a row of user name and user email. And if there are no users, we will have empty block with just call span to class text center from bootstrap no users found uh, okay so we'll have a view and now we need to make a route here let's actually stick to home controller I'm really fine with that so if we have home controller we don't need auth here view home instead of view home we will have users user class user all and pass that to customers with compact users. That should actually already work. So if we go to slash home, let's try it. We have our table with 50 users. It was pretty simple, wasn't it? So now let's export that table. We are done with Laravel part. Let's do the export. Uh, to do that, we will install the package Laravel Excel, Laravel Excel, GitHub. Uh, or actually, let's do the official documentation. It will be pretty quick. So installation, installation. This. Currently, the version is 3.1, and let's install that. It will have some other dependencies, and let's wait for a few seconds. Okay, we have it installed, and now let's generate our first export file. PHP Storm is shouting with indexing. No worries. So artisan make export, and we make customers export class, export class, 
I'm binding it to model customer, model user. Actually, we don't, we don't have customers, we have users here in this example. So users export and model users. Model user, okay. And by then we should have a file app exports user export. User all, and all we need to do here is to add another route. So for example, export, export, export this, then in our uh, blade file, we will have a link, for example, export route, export class button, button primary with a break and export to XLSX this and in controller we have we will have export method export and we will use that class so it will be return excel download um, the class will be custom no users export users export class and then file name will be users xlsx and I think it should be this syntax so new users export this uh, probably that's it actually let's try it out I'm doing it from, from my heart, from what I remember, so I may be doing some mistakes here, but let's try. Export, non-static method. All oh, right, I'm not using the correct facade, so it shouldn't be Excel, it should be not that one, it should be Excel, this one. Let's try it out again, refresh. Yeah, we have file downloaded. XLSX and it's working. So we've exported. Right, so we have exported uh, XLS file. Now let's try to change some data and re import it back. So to do that, in our uh, table, we will create a form. So add this. Let's add a uh, separator here. Separator here as well, and we will add a form to upload the file. So form action will be route import, which we'll create later. Also, we need multi part form data to upload the file. Then we need CSRF uh, token, and now we need to have a file input type file name import file and then input type submit value import also we need to specify method post import how does it look probably will show errors now home root import not defined of course so we will have route post, import, import method, and route import. Okay, refresh. Yep, we have a file and we have a button import. Let's style it a little better to have button, let's say button info. Okay, and now let's take care of that import thing. So by default, we will have another class to do import. So PHP artisan make import, users import, again to the same model, user. Generate it and let's see what is inside of that class. Uh, oh, that's export, sorry, import users import new user and then we specify so name will be row zero i think no row, row one right row one so this is index one two and we don't need the timestamps so name will be row one and email 
will be row two. The problem with that, however, is that email is unique by default in Laravel. So we would have errors, but actually let's try that if it works at all. So let's try to use that import. So we do Excel import. We need that file name, users import. And instead of file path, it should be request. This one request file, I think it was file import file. Let's double check what is the file name in our form. It's import file, correct. So import file. This should work and it shouldn't be returned. We return with redirect. So return redirect to route, which is home. That's it. And let's try it out. Let's try to import our file. Choose file. Today users 3. Okay, import. We'll probably will have an error about uniqueness. Field password doesn't have a default value. That's another email. That's another error, sorry. Okay, well let's take care of that. Password should be empty. Refresh. Duplicate entry for the email. And that's exactly what we needed, what we kind of expected, which means that uh, we need to take care of, uh, we need to update the the record instead of doing the inserting immediately. So let's do another way. So Excel import, we will change to Excel to array or to collection. Let's do Excel to collection and return our users. And then we'll do some manipulations with it. So DD users. And it should contain our 50 items. So yeah, collection, out of collections, great. Um, now let's go for each users as user. For example, let's do uh, this one, user uh, name. Or actually, does it contain the name? Let's try, let's see. No, it's zero, one, and two, okay. So user one and user two, users zero, so first element. And now we have, yeah, now we have email and name. And what we will do about it. So uh, first user zero is our ID. So let's do uh, user where, ID equals user zero, which is ID update. And then we have array here. So email equals user number two. And name will be user one. All right, so we update those and Let's try it out with changes. So for example, let's let's click back. We have a home here. And let's change Marissa Collins name and email to something else and re-import back. So Marissa Collins Jr. And example.com, let's change it to example org. And let's, yep, we have a save here. Oh, that's numbers probably need to export to Excel. Um, next, users updated will be users updated Excel. Okay, and let's try to import it. So users updated doesn't have extensions. I hope it works. It's loading something, and it refreshed back. And as you can see, Marissa Collins Jr. and example.org. That is exactly what we needed. Let's check in the database. We refresh the table. Example org, junior, and updated ad should be updated. Actually, it updated all of the records. So probably we should check if there are any changes. So we shouldn't do blind update. We should probably check if that is not equal. 
but yeah, I guess that's it. So we export it into Excel and then we import it back with updating the data. So that was a simple demo project with Laravel Excel. As we can see in this course, throughout this course, in previous lessons, there are much more uh, capabilities of that package. And I hope this course was really useful. For those who haven't watched all the videos, please, I encourage you to do that. And see you in my next lessons and courses.